Start your journey. Oh, let's get rid of that. Balanceofnature.com. What a waste of money that's going to be. Uh, buyer beware. By the way, Balance of Nature, if you want to send me some stuff so that I can test out and disprove what I just said, feel free. Uh, the link is in, the, in my about page. You'll see how to get a hold of me. Right now, you can see the 60 set for only 39.96 with promo code Bongino. Go to mypillow.com right now and click on the radio. Mypillow.com. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> so it's my pillow. I'm gonna see how this thing works out. We'll see. I don't think this is gonna go well. Oh, oh, it's bouncy. Oh, it's bouncy. Oh, it's kind of hanging on. I don't have a tripod. I've got nothing. You're probably, it's probably cut off. Oops. Let's protect our kids. Let's try that. I just need a little bit of Velcro and it probably could stick right there. Hi, I'm Karen, owner Hi, of Karen. If you're stuck in a timeshare, you don't have to be. We can help. Skyrocket oh, maintenance gosh. Over over 16, owners legally and permanently get out of their time There. Stop the bleeding. We've earned an Stop the bleeding. That's too much. I'm headed into a remote office that I have. Um, I'm not a lighting guy, but I do have, I do video as a vocation. When vocation was first used in English in the 15th century, it referred specifically to a summons from God to perform a particular task or function in life. And I do believe I'm called to do it, vocation. And that's why I enjoy it so much. That's why I'm even doing this right now. Uh, but I gotta do some lighting. And I'm not a lighting guy. I know what I like when I see it. I kind of know how to get what I want, and uh, then I see what I want. I, but the patience it takes, and climbing up down ladders, putting up this, that, climbing, rigging, holding up a fixture that weighs 30 pounds with one arm up above my head while trying to cinch it down with a crescent wrench that's kind of janky. <laughs> on a piece of pipe that, uh, maybe I'll show it to you, that, uh, you know, it's the way things are rigged, you know, I get it. Yeah, I'm not into that. But I gotta set up a lighting scene, so it's all kind of computer-based, and it's, you know, Christmas. It's Christmas. And it's Christmas, it's Christmas. And I've been asked to help create a steering wheel um been asked to put together a lighting scene and it's actually multiple scenes but it's got red and green ladies and gentlemen i hate red and green maroon and forest that would be okay but this is like candy apple red and jolly old saint nick green let's go inside There, see what I mean? Pipe, clamp. Uh, this thing weighs a lot. Eventually we'll go to all plastic LED stuff and we'll be a little lighter, but not now. And since this is a totally random video anyway, I wanna know whose brilliant idea was to put a charging port on the bottom 
of the mouse. Yeah, this is goofy. I mean, y you can't, it doesn't work. Oh, and let's just pretend it does work uh, and you find a way to use it. It actually disables the mouse when it's plugged in for charging. <sighs> get in the house great missed it okay yet another random thing making lunch here and you know this is these are uh, flour tortillas that are home style as opposed to institutional or factory or non-home style why would they say that make you feel better or when they say things like like mom makes or um, you know, exceptionally good, or ex you know, all the positive words that they could probably think of for marketing stuff, especially foods. Great stuff. Um, I'm waiting for the marketing guy who comes along and goes, eat our stuff. It tastes like, but you'll like it anyway. You know, I'm waiting for that guy. And Maybe that's me. Maybe I ought to go to work for a couple of these companies. You're going to love my nuts. And uh, let's see, what do they say about the hummus here? Traditional hummus. Oh, that's all it says. No added. No added. What's that word? I need glasses. Oh, colors. No added colors. Doesn't look like it has color to it. Ooh. This is Julio's and it's mild and it says home style, home style, as opposed to that style that's not from the home. I'm not sure what that would be. Yeah. Random musings of the shooting guy. Oh, you're over here. I don't know why I looked at the, you want to see what I looked at? Yeah, the receptacle. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. I don't know why I did that, but I did. My head's cut off, huh? It's the shelf thing. Yeah, it's as good as it gets. Let's put some turkey. Um, we just recently cooked a turkey, and depending on when you see this, you know, it was November, and we all had turkey. Now I have turkey sandwiches, turkey burritos, Turkey Jello, you've seen that, right? Turkey Jello, I love me my Turkey Jello. Actually, that's my wife's thing. She likes that. It's really just kind of a, a soupy gravy, which is it tastes good, but when it's been in the fridge for overnight or what have you, that's so good. Okay, there you go. We'll put some cheese. Now, let's see if I can do this. We'll keep you rolling. Hmm. How do we do this? H hang on a minute. I think you're going to have to... I think you're going to just have to... I'm going to fold it. This is not the George Foreman. This is my George Foreman family-sized grilled... It's the Better Chef. Better Chef. I'm gonna push down on it just a little bit. Need to put some pressure up there. It's hot. Gotta make it panini style. Ooh, look at that down in there. That looks good. Keep squishing. Waiting for the light to turn green. Can't see it though. Natural. It's natural cheese. It's not that. It says no artificial growth hormones. Well, that's nice. It's special. 
pushing down. Pushing down. There you go. It's down. Gotta wait now for the light to turn green. Let's see. You and I will wash together. Cheese is sizzling in there. Um. Steam's coming out. Mm. Oh, it just popped. Okay, I gotta get this thing out of here. Stay there. Can you guys see it? I don't know. I won't know until I look at this later. Yeah, see, got a little bit of cheese bits going on there. No problem. There's the burrito. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. You gotta put the stuff away. Then we'll eat. Traditional. No color added. Okay, now we go. Come with me. Okay, time to edit this video. Here we are in my little office. Here I am with my computer, and uh, it's time. Okay, I gotta airdrop my stuff, and while I'm waiting for that, uh, well, I, I finished my lunch. I, I didn't think you wanted to see me eating food. Boy, this thing is not focusing. But uh, this is dessert and a cup of coffee. That is a Fuyu persimmon. Let's... Uh, See what we can do here. I'll show you how to peel it. It's it's rather simple. You pull off all the little leaves first. You know, take those off. Oh, oh. And then you take the tip of your peeler and you kind of get it underneath the thing without stabbing yourself. If you could do that, always poke away. Point out, poke away. Okay, and it comes off just like that. That was pretty easy. And then you just peel. Now, these Fuyu persimmons, the fruit is del delicious. It's, uh, it's a very firm fruit. It's not your typical persimmon. You know what I'm talking about, right? Um, you pick these things actually before they're ripe. Let my scabs heal. Okay. They're all, they're they're ripe, even when they're green. Well, they don't they just don't have as much flavor when they're green. Um, but when the leaves are coming off because it's getting to be winter, that's when you want to pick the fruit. Just go like that. Um, don't want to eat the skin because it's kind of like tree bark. And it'll, uh, it's not good. It'll, it'll be swallowing something you probably, you know, don't want to swallow. Because when it comes out, it's not going to feel right. <coughs> My dear wife wants me to compost as much as I possibly can. And I do, I do, I, I, I like composting. We put it in this, you know, the, the uh, Farm Fresh established 2017. We put it in that little bucket in here and then we throw it out in the compost pile, which I don't know, can you see that out there? Um, no. You see the green stuff? Well, it's right on the other side of the green stuff because that's ginger. Not ginger Marianne from Gilligan's Island, but ginger like the plant. Okay. Let's see. Back to this. We'll do that. Take a little thing here. And look at this. No seeds. No seeds. And then I'll just kind of cut a few of these. Don't want to cut my finger. It's a flesh wound. That would be... That would be time to go to an emergency room to get stitches because I, I can't sew stitches on my own finger. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Okay, let's go eat this stuff now. Mmm. Okay, now if you want persimmons like this and you don't have any where you live, um, get a hold of me. You can go to my, you can go to my webpage, shootingguide.com. Go there. Uh, hit the contact button. Contact me. That's the best way to do it. And then I will ship you some persimmons. 
uh, there will be shipping charge, of course. And I think at the going rate right now, because of the uh, skyrocketing inflation that we're having. Inflation rate month to month was just uh, 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 just an inch. You can make it sound like all of a sudden, my God, it went to 8.2 percent. It's been it's the highest inflation rate, Mr. President, in 40 years. I got that. Uh, it'll probably be about $300. So you send me $300, I'll ship you a persimmon. All right. Yeah, this is going to be good. Can we do this? Yeah, I think we can. I have the technology. And it, yeah, that'll work. Mm. It's worth the $300. Send it to me and I'll send you a persimmon. I got a bunch in the bag. There's a bunch on the tree. See, these are the littler ones. For some reason, this tree likes to give me the little ones, which is fine. They taste good, too. And then this tree, oh, man. I probably, on this tree alone this year, I probably have remaining 150 of these. And I already pulled off about 50, so this tree gave me two. <laughs> oh, bug, all right in the face. You, is it on my face? Uh, this tree gave me about 200 pieces of fruit. That's a little bit of burn. They did have a frost. But look at all those. They're gonna be good. No, no, you don't make uh, cookies or persimmon cake or anything like that with those. You just eat them raw. Now I guess you can mash them down and maybe make a a jam. Maybe. There you go. Let the bird out. She needs to get. Yeah, you need to walk about, don't you? You know, there is a reason why this video is called Random Musings, right?